Hey guys, welcome to Dodgers Gaming Corner. Today I'm heading back in a side quest to check out a game that was recently updated called David Slade Mysteries Case Files. Like I said, it was recently updated and not only that, it is currently available on App Lab. So super easy if you've never side loaded, you don't even have to. I will leave a link down below in case you've never used App Lab. It's really simple and you don't even need a PC. I am super excited to check this one out since it has been recently updated. I've been wanting to play it for a while. So today I'm gonna head in and see how it looks. So let's head in and see what this game is all about. You know what? They are, okay? So, I went through the training. Um, we're gonna grab a case file. Apartment 202. I remember tackling this case five years ago. I should still probably review the file. More cases to come soon. Huh. Isn't that always the memories of the past? Coming. Hmm. This is my active case. I should probably review apartment 202 before proceeding with this one, however. Fine. You get to training there, right there. Oh, I was going to show you guys something. Hello and welcome to another edition <laughs> of Riverside Action <laughs> okay, News. Matt. My name is Cliff Bradford. In tonight's top story, <laughs> the Riverside right. slasher has struck again, claiming his third victim in as little as 40 off. days. A woman's body washed ashore oh. early this morning at the Green Hills Reservoir, right. where the prior two victims were right. also I found. Think, All three I women think we need Steve Nose, because I need to hear enough chin wagging. The police right. commissioner so stated the file that the women were bound in chains and are and thought to have been go. tied New to game. a heavy object and thrown overboard. That's he it. also commented that he believed... Bum, bum, bum. All right. So we need to get inside. That's where we need to go. My name is David Slade. I'm a homicide detective with the RSPD. I need access to the building, please. How do I know you're the police and not some nut job? Take a hike, pal. Shh. Trust me, sir. I am with the RSPD. I will push it through. So you gotta ask that guy twice. A bunch of mailboxes. Hmm. Apartment 202 belongs to a man named Jack Mathers. His mailbox is locked. Fine. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're facing the right way. Okay. We're gonna go upstairs. Alright, so we're gonna go to room 202. And, um, see if we can figure this out. As I approached apartment 202, I did in fact notice a strange smell coming from within. I did not know what to expect, okay. but I knew it was not good. And when you first, first approach, you gotta knock three times. The training will teach you this. Hello, Mr. Mathers? This is the RSPD. I'm here to make sure you're alright. The door is locked. I need- The door is locked. There has to be a way to get inside. Uh. Alright, come here. Oh my god, how'd you get me over here? Uh. Key. Not the key. Fine. But I know where we can go get the key. Alright, let's go get the... Let's go downstairs. So that key actually goes down here. I only know this from previous videos. Um, I'm not going to show you all the puzzles. I'll show you where you can get stuff, but if a puzzle's involved, I'm going to make you figure it out. A small puzzle box. This. I wonder what's inside. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Dude. Thank you. 
trash. All right, let's do the puzzle. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so inside is your key. Um, a spare key to the apartment. And then a note. Um, dates. Date, it's the key. I don't know. We're gonna go inside and see if we can figure it out. All right, let's let's go inside. Mr. Mathers, I'm coming in. As I entered the apartment, the first thing I noticed was a large pool of blood in the kitchen dining area. I thought that would be a good place to start my investigation. Hmm, two coffee mugs. It looks like someone was here with Mr. Mathers. Maybe an argument broke out? Pure speculation presently. I need to keep looking. A blood-covered pot. Was this the starting point to something greater? I don't know. You know. As much as I know. Click. Evidence. More. Uh. A drop of blood. I should follow the trail and see where it leads. Another drop of blood. Drop. Another drop of blood. So much blood. Okay. Oh my god, can we not? Hmm, there's blood on the door's handle. The door is locked. Alright. Let's go find the key. As I entered the bedroom, I noticed the desk was completely ransacked, a nightstand was tipped over, and there was clothing all over a news article covering a murder from 1967. Hmm. Scratch marks on the wall. I wonder what caused these. It's a safe, which is also locked. Something of great importance must be inside. Nope. Ah. Uh, fine. I need a key. I need a code. An answering machine. One message. Hey, Jack. It's Bill. You are right. Hey. The killings in the late 1960s and 1970s are connected. The MO is identical. You said you have a suspect. You also said that suspect lives in the same apartment complex as you do in room 203. Are you Thanks. nuts moving in across the hall from him? If Thanks. that is the sick bastard, you could be putting yourself in harm's way. I hope you know what you're doing, Jack. The name of the guy in room 203 is Charles Jenkins. He was arrested in 1974 for nearly beating his neighbor to death. He served a short jail term and was released early for good behavior. Based on his jail record, he could be your man. Be careful, Jack. I need six codes. Six. Alright, a date. I need a date. A date. Maybe? Oh, Whoa. God. I need a date. Give me a date. A blood-covered sink. The killer must have washed up here. Have it. Oh my god. Come here. Have it. Upon closer examination of Mr. Mathers, I can see the blunt force trauma to the back of his head. Wait a second, I see a deep cut around his neck from ear to ear. That was what killed him. His eyes show signs of petechial hemorrhaging, which is an indication that he was strangled. 
I think this was the killer's twisted way of making him suffer even. Hey, it looks like there's something in his mouth. I should photograph it first and then bag it. Dude. Uh, I know that's not gonna matter. Let's go finish this. Alright, I need more. It looks like Mr. Mathers put up quite a fight. He has a handful of the killer's hair. A bloody handprint. No luck with any fingerprints here. His carotid artery has been cut clean through. He bled out fast. Sorry. This is what finally killed him. The cut is not clean, however, so it appears a serrated blade of some sort was used. That's a lot of blood. By the looks of it, the killer was barefoot at the time of the murder. A blood-soaked towel. The killer must have used this to clean up. Lucky for me, he did not do a very good job. Good thing, huh? Alright, let's go... I need a date. I need a date. Hey, wait a second. This knife was not here a second ago. This must have been dropped by that guy when he fled the scene. I got you now, you son of a bitch. I think. This news article is about a murder dated 1969. It is unsolved. 1969. I'm gonna date. I'm gonna find a date. Mr. Mathers, I assume? Closet is locked. No, it's not locked anymore. Date. Anything else under here? No. Right. Nothing I can grab. Oh, yeah. Out this window, I see the city nightlife down below. The desk has been ransacked. There's nothing of interest here. Fine. Let's go see if we can talk to... Neighbor 203. Yesterday's newspaper. Hello, this is the RSPD. Is anyone home?
Hello, this is the RSPD. I'd like to ask you some questions. Go away! I do not want to get involved! Please, leave me alone! This door leads to the third floor. I have no need to go up there. Ah, but you do. Alright. I need dates. Dates. Give me some dates. Dates. Such a weird sound. Sunrise Cup. A coffee that's, well, not that good to be honest. Dates. Nordic Brewers Peron Kanku Golden Brew. Not a bad beer if you're on a budget. A bunch of books. Oh, wait a second, there are a few classic computer games in here. Let's see. Police Quest, Space Quest, King's Quest. Wow, that's a whole lot of questing. There's even the Tex Murphy series. Dude, give me oh, some dates. Only if I had the time to play them again. Give me some dates. You have any dates? All right, there you have it. That is all I'm gonna show you today, but you should definitely check it out. So far, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm gonna be heading back in. I did cover up how to get into the mystery box, but if you really do have any questions or a hard time getting into it, just leave a comment below and I will let you know how it's done. It did take me a couple minutes, but then I finally figured it out. It all has to do with the symbol at the top of the box. So I'm going to tell you. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, happy gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>